talk about new world records yes another one has been broken and we've got the you know the we're gonna tell you all about it that's very exciting things that irritate more more than starfish in was underwear returns this week got an interesting uh you know irritate something that's really bugging me this week i'm gonna share it with you we've got the new segment help me queenie it's where i attempt to help you the viewer I don't know how it's going to work. It may fall flat on its face, just like Paris Hilton. But it could work. We're going to give it a go this week. And shocking news, ladies and gentlemen. We revisit an interview we did a couple of weeks ago with Courtney Ack. Something she said in that interview quite shocked me. And the response from friends and viewers is even more shocking. So we're going to revisit that too in this week's show. So stick around, darlings, and enjoy. Grab yourself a shardy or a vodka or a Bloody Mary as I do and sit back, relax, and enjoy. Kisses, darling. <laughs> Welcome back. Now, in weird, worldly, wonderful news, a Brazilian woman has given birth to a giant baby. Not the, uh, the giant as in, whoa, massive giant sort of baby. No, a, a, a baby that was about the same size and weight of a six-month-old child. That is massive. All the girls out there, I can tell you're cringing, especially those who have given birth. I haven't, but, you know... I'm told the horror stories. Now, now, a, a normal baby is tiny, and a six-month-old baby is massive compared. And it's just, it's, it's just, it's, it's weird. And, you know, good luck finding clothes for that child when it hits puberty, because it's going to be massive. Also in good news, a new addition to the Guinness Book of World Records, the same Brazilian lady has gone in under the loosest vagina category. That's the sound of her running. <laughs> oh, I crack myself up sometimes. That's going to make the edit, isn't it? Fantastic. <laughs> More right after this, darlings. If you're stupid, you wouldn't realize you're watching the Queen Miss Left Titter Show. But for all you intelligent people out there, you would already know that. Well done. It's time to introduce a new segment. It's called Help Me Queenie. Yes, we were going to have some theme music with it based on the, uh, the Beach Boys Help Me Wonder. But, you know, help me Queenie, help, help me Queenie. Help me, Queenie, help, help me Queenie. Help me Queenie, help, help me out of this rut. But, um, yeah, the production crew couldn't quite get their act together this week. Well done, boys. You're a bunch of jackasses. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, well, they couldn't get their act together, so we didn't have any music for it. So, well, you know, I just sang it anyway. Anyway, the first letter this week reads... Dear Queen Miss Leftita, I recently started dating a wonderful guy. We've been seeing each other for... a a little over a month now, and he's absolutely amazing. The only thing that I don't completely love about him is that we have not had sex. I do not want to sound like a complete slut, but let's face it. It's been over a month since we started seeing each other exclusively. He spends the night at my house frequently, and more than half the time we are completely alone. I have confronted him with the situation, and he simply responds with, It's not you. I just don't have the urge to sleep with anyone. 
I automatically assume that this is because he may not be attracted to me sexually, but we have fooled around before. He is so sweet and goes out of his way to do nice things for me, I just don't understand why he does not want to get freaky. Any advice? Sincerely, Toaster from North Carolina in the U.S. of A. Ha! Thank you, voiceover man. Now, darlings, let's look at this letter again. You say he's absolutely amazing and sweet and goes out of his way to do nice things for you. Darling, what straight man does that for a girl? No straight man does that for a girl. Have you questioned that he's gay? He could be gay. G-A-Y. Darling, gay. No straight man does that for a girl. And I, I, I know you said in the letter that, you know, you fooled around before, but, you know, most gay men like to fool around with women sometimes as well. It's not uncommon. In fact, all the time I get you know, requests from gay men who want to come and fondle my tits and make out with me all the time. It's weird, I know I'm a puppet, but you know, you get that sometimes. There are some wackos out there. Darling, I think you should ask him if he's gay. I hope that helps. Ah, oh, I am wonderful. Oprah, look out. Queen Miss Leftita is now in the house. <laughs> More coming up right after this. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time now for Queen Miss Leftita's Things That Irritate Us More Than Starfish in Our he Underwear. He does sound sexy, doesn't he? Darlings, it's time for things that irritate moi more than starfish in moi's underwear. Because what I am about to talk about is more irritating than having starfish stuffed down your pants. Right. Anyway, darling, so what's irritating me this week is Hollywood. Yes, the glitz, the glamour, the celebrities. Look, it's boring at the moment. Nothing is happening. There is no juicy gossip. There's no Britney Scott. Scandal, no drug taking from Paris Hilton or Lindsay Lohan going off the deep end. There's none of these stories, darling. I think the, the only recent thing we've had is Whitney Houston. You know, she's in rehab again. Woo! You know, I, I've got a funny feeling this all coincides with the writer's strike in Hollywood. Isn't it funny? That the, the, the writers go on strike and the uh, celebrities, you know, stop misbehaving? Could it be that the writers in Hollywood actually write the scandals as well? Some food for thought. Well, not really food for thought, but, you know, it's, it's, it's a saying. <sighs> Darlings, that is what is irritating moi more than starfish in my underwear this week. Ha <laughs> ha. And rightly so. Darlings, it's almost time to wrap this show up for another week. But before we do, I want to revisit an interview we did a couple of weeks ago with a delightful Courtney Act, where she made the admission that she likes the smell of her own underarms. I was a little bit grossed out by that. Let's go take a look at the clip. Personal, I... Sometimes enjoy the smell of my own underarms. Now, darlings, it has been brought to Moi's attention that this is not uncommon. A lot of people like this smell of their own underarms. Now, we are going to do a bit of a poll about this. I want you to contact Moi uh, via email at qmlt.com.au. We'll put it up there on the screen. There it is. How oh, wonderful. Send us, you know, an email. Tell moi what you think. Do you like the smell of your own underarms? Or, like me, are you repulsed by the smell of body odour? B.O. for short. Let moi know, darlings. Anyway, that's it for another week, darlings. Kisses, and we'll see you next week here on the Queen Miss Left Show. 